coming up in this week's episode. I get interviewed. How did you find last? Am I being interviewed? Correct. Okay. How did you find yesterday? We sail up the coast for our brown gold. Very, out for delivery. Very important delivery. It's gravy. How many tubs? I don't know. 20. 20 tubs of British Green. delicious Bisto gravy. And we meet Jeff and his 117 year old schooner. But that schooner is there. You sleep well? Yeah. Well, thank you. We're leaving this beautiful this, place, this unfortunately. Yes. How'd you find last? I'm maybe an interview. Correct. Okay. How'd you find yesterday? <laughs> yeah, it was lovely on the island. Beautiful. And what did we get up to? Uh, yeah, we had, well, you saw on the video, we had a walk and had a barbecue. Yeah. Lovely it was. It was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. What did we have on the barbecue? Pork chops. Delicious. Where are we going today? Toast. We're going 15 miles down the coast. Adam will do a very quick chart update. We've got the wind from behind. We've got about seven, eight knots now from behind. And then it'll be probably be increasing to about 12 knots. So we're going to get the spinnaker going. Uh, yeah. Is that my interview over? Yes, I said. Oh. We're off to Lockie Port, Luke said. Only 15 miles down the coast. That's all I'm going to say because Luke said it all. We get the engine going, weigh anchor, get going, and get the spinny up. Beautiful bloody day. And I miss this place. I could spend two or three days here exploring all the islands. But time is a ticking. Oh, we're ticking coming back down, yeah? Yeah, definitely. On the way back down. Just get the tender up on board. Gonna get, get Gingy on roof and then we're gonna go. Get the engine going and engine going to get the chain up, get the main up. Get out there and then get the spinnaker up. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. I'm sneezing and disappeared. Damn it. Today's Thursday, 28th July, 2022. We left this beautiful, oh my God, it's gonna fall over. This beautiful place, Cape Negro Island this morning, anchored here. Spent yesterday on the island and had a barbecue. Oh, so nice, recommended. Today we're making a 15 mile passage to here. This harbor here. We've got a full main up and a full Genoa at the moment. This is our angle in the wind. Uh, we're gonna get the pole up later. Probably put the, well, I'm not sure whether we're gonna go for the spinnaker or Genoa. Probably a Genoa on the pole will be easier. Because uh, we only got 15 miles to do today. As we need to restock on some meat. That's the only reason. <laughs> this is turning out to be quite a nice, well, fantastic sail to be honest. We've got nine to 10 knots from the, Stern quarter about there. Uh, we haven't got we no need to get the pole out, we're doing four four point uh, seven knots. Respectable. Yeah, respectable, very respectable. Ah, it's a beautiful day. It's easy sailing. Look at the water. Really lovely. It's amazing how efficient we are on the boat, isn't it? Yeah. So like we get our own water, we've got no running water on the boat, so we've got to get our water from different places. No mains electricity. It's all in batteries. Um, it's, yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? How efficient you've got to be. Yeah, it's lovely, it. isn't it? I love it. It's got all our power from the sun, from the solar. Yeah. Everything, we charge our batteries from the, from the sun. No fossil fuels. Hardly use the diesel engine at all. Yeah, what a life. It's the best life, isn't it? Yeah. Totally. I love it. Adam was just filling up his bottle and uh, the tap started to splutter really. We checked our bag and we've run out of water. So we're going to fill, these, fill the water with these barrels. And then when we get to the harbour we're going to now, we'll just get some water when we're there. Yeah. Might be somebody that's given some water. It's bound to be water in the harbour. I speak to the harbour master. There may even be like a fisherman shower there or something. We're gonna get a hot shower. Worth an ask, isn't it? It'd be luxury, wouldn't it? It is Canada. People are so kind here. I 
see the harbour wall. Looks really calm in there. Yeah. Turn the engine on, but it's only in tick. Uh, it's not running forward. It's just idling at the moment. So we're going to try and sail in, and then drop the hook while the engine is idling. This is the challenge of a lifetime. Yeah. I'm going to pull up into the wind like this, into the wind, drop, settle. I reckon we can do it. Two meters. I'm just going to head down with the wind a bit so I can come up with it. Five hundred meters feet. feet. Sorry, two point two meters under the keel. Okay, good. Anchor's ready. Got to press the button. She'll drop. Please, you put on free flow. But, uh... All right. Here yeah, we are going a bit fast. We'll turn into it. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, uh, still doing three knots. Two meters, good. There you go, then go in. Okay. So 1.6 knots, two meters. I'm gonna successful. I'm gonna get the main down. We haven't used the engine. Please allow that. Let's switch the engine off. There, we've done it. In the tight anchorage as well. Really please. And now she's swinging on that anchor. Right in there. I don't know if you can see that. Right in the middle of the anchorage there. Uh, we wanted to be a bit more over this way because we've got southwesterlies and westerlies predicted. So right tucked in the corner there, it's lovely. Job done. It's 10 to 9 in the morning. Sunday 31st of uh, July. It's the last day of July. It's the 1st of August tomorrow. We're in Lockie Port and today we're going to just be headed further up the coast. We don't know where yet. We're just going to sail all day. I'll just show you the put a manual route coming out of Lockie Port because I want to show you how there's a lot of low water. So we're coming out of here down here around through these boys and there's low patches of water everywhere so you've got to be very careful here I've picked a route which is clear low water there there there's rocks and breakers and there's farm ledge here you've got to be careful of this and then we're pretty much free to go up this coastline here we may stop in Liverpool which is up here but we may not. There's loads of places to stop here we'll see how we get on today regarding the wind it's quite good maybe about 15 knots from the southwest and it's sunny and then, well they said it's 27 degrees but it's never that warm on the coast This is what we just passed, farm ledge, outer farm ledge, um, black point. As you can see, if I zoom in here, there. You've got a little wave symbol and 0.5 knots. So that is current against us there. The little waves mean turbulence, water turbulence. So we should, we're getting away from the point, so we should be getting away from that current. Look at that, the rock there is called Bastard. Honestly, that's a bastard rock. All rocks are bastard rocks. Mm. Been a nice relaxing spinnaker sail so far. Doing four knots. Wind has been a bit up and down, hasn't it? Up and down and very currency. Sometimes we've got yeah. 
Like and what did we see? What did we see in the water, Les? Shark. We saw a shark. We saw a shark. A small shark. Yeah. It was swimming around in the circle and you could see his like his fin at the back and then there's fin on the top. His tail. Yeah, his tail and there's fin on the yeah. top. Incredible! Never seen a shark before. It's swimming going around in a circle, only a small one. Look what oh. shark it was. Yeah. Still all left here. Oh. It's a lot of carrying. That's been freezing. <laughs> Still sailing. It is two o'clock. In the afternoon we are going to be continuing to sail and have tea on the go and I think we're going to continue this evening until it gets, starts to get dark and then we're going to stop somewhere there's plenty of places to stop along this coast we want to get as far as we can today because we've got the spinner cut up and there's nice wind it's a beautiful day so why waste it got to be careful of the swell tonight it's a southwesterly swell half a meter and it's a southeasterly swell, 0.4 of a metre. So we need to pick somewhere where it's not going to be, we're not going to be rocking and rolling all night. So it's going to be nice, somewhere nice, hopefully. Got a couple of yachts, we've got one over there to our starboard. We've got a boat there. I thought it was some sort of military, but it's not. And I thought it was a coast guard vessel, but it's not. I think it's just a fishing boat doing something. Fishing? Fishing boats go fishing. Ah, another boat over there. You can see him on AIS anyway. So I just had a look on AIS, and that I thought was a fishing boat, it's actually a search and rescue vessel. So I assume that is probably the Coast Guard. I wonder what he's doing, he's probably keeping an eye on all the yachties. But we got our VHF radio on, and our AIS. I'm going to get the binoculars out now and have a good goosey gander over there, see if I can see him spying on us. <laughs> There's a search and rescue vessel. Currently doing five knots. Got some nice bit of tide with us now. Should have that most of the afternoon, early into the evening. There's low water. Over there, there's a buoy marking low water over there. So it is stunning. Might have been having a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Which is cup of tea and some cheese. <laughs> nice. Dip it in the, cheese, in the tea. Like tea and, tea and cheese biscuits. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I cooked this. It's rare. And I must say I've done an, an, an absolutely tremendous job. Adam's always going on about the gravy is not thick enough. I done gravy to perfection. Beautiful. Luckily there was any left. Eating, eat, cooking gravy, eating it. A cooking good, these and eating it, eating that, eating that as we're cooking it. A good chef always tastes their food. And then sticking everything in your mouth. Uh, we got two hours before dark and we've got about seven miles to get to the anchorage. We're only doing like 3.6 knots. You can see the, the inlet there hopefully. One side of it and the other side of it. I mean we haven't got much wind to be honest. It's a bit up and down. But the view is spectacular, and if I don't know if you can hear a foghorn, it's actually that boy there. He's got a foghorn built into it, or a whistle. They call it a whistle on a child, but it doesn't sound like a whistle. It sounds like a horn.
got the spinnaker down, got the main down. We just motored in the last uh, couple of miles now. Should be there about quarter to nine. Going in between these rocks. I can't tell you how nice that looks. Absolutely amazing. Say, so imagine if you were like just done like 30 days offshore. Yeah. Just coming into here. The here. You feel the heat off the land, the smell, all the shrubbery, yeah. <laughs> shrubbery and the pine, the pine trees and things. It just drives you wild, doesn't it? Yeah. Like wild horses going on the land. It just makes me want to go in the forest and just walk through the forest because it smells so delicious. I don't want to eat it, but it just smells gorgeous. It's amazing. The scenery here. It smells like Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. With the sun going down, it looks fantastic. I would... It's cold out there, but the heat's yeah. going off the land yes, from today. It's really warm. It'll be 27 degrees on land today. Yeah, it's about like that. It's cold, yeah, it's out there. It's freezing out there. Well, not freezing. Feet are cold now. Yeah, but even just like 10 hours out of eight, yeah 10 hours out to sea smell not very far off yeah and then you go into land it's so it's different you. if you only could have smell of smelly vision beautiful there's even little islands there with pine trees on on the way in what a stunning place everybody's got to come and visit uh, canada it's absolutely it's gorgeous especially about the weather in the winter it's gorgeous Anchored, snubber on, sorted. I think it's sand or mud, not 100% sure. Yeah, it's sand. At past 10 in the morning, we just left Port Medway, anchored there last night. Just a really quick chart update, it's going to make our way out of the here, through this gap, because there's all low rocks here, and then just up around La Havre, hopefully I'm saying it right, La Havre Island, in through here, follow the Boyd uh, channel, up this river, and there's a yacht club here, La Havre River Yacht Club, we're going to be picking up a more in there, meeting our friend Jeff, one of our subscribers. It's about 20 nautical miles. They're promising west or southwesterly winds today. West or southwest. Around 15 knots. It should be there possibly by about between three and five, we reckon. So Ooh. we're meeting a subscriber today, and one of the main reasons why we're meeting this subscriber is Wyatt. Uh, he's called Jeff. Jeff. Hi Jeff. Maybe in yeah. the episode, one of the episodes. We are meeting him because we are getting a delivery. We're getting a couple of deliveries. Yeah. But the most important delivery is from our mother. Uh, what is in this? Out very, for delivery. Very important delivery. It's gravy. How many tubs? I don't know. Twenty. Twenty tubs of British gravy. delicious Bisto gravy, which you can't <laughs> get good gravy in the States <laughs> or in Canada, can we? The little packets. No. Yeah. Getting that no. and what else is in there? Just some birthday cards, I think. Christmas some powdered cards. cheese, Mum put in there. Powdered cheese. Yeah. Well. <laughs> uh, we'd just like to clarify: we're not use, just using Jeff as a delivery hub. We you. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, he's kind enough to invite him around to Lehab or Lahav Yacht Club, and we're going around there to meet some people and just spend some time with some. Canadians. I'm a Canadian. Some Can oh, that was really insulting. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Some Canadians, and uh, I just love Canadians so far. They're fantastic people, and we just really appreciate um, Jeff using his house as a delivery hub for little bits like Amazon and gravy and powdered cheese. The most important thing. So thanks, Jeff. Really appreciate it. Look at that rolling. Cloud there, that incredible. 
Can you see it? Adam, have a look at this rolling cloud. There, you can see it moving. Yeah. Going faster than us. So it's lifting up. Lifting up and rolling. Look at that for a cloud bank. How weird is that? And it brought a little bit of wind with it. Well, a little bit of wind. It brought quite a bit of wind because we've got white horses there. How cool is that? Never seen anything like that. Don't know what it is. It's moving really fast. Really fast. How crazy. Over there as well. It's moving over us now. Interesting to see what the guy does. Oh, there's a boy there. Uh, make sure we don't crash into that. He's going down with the tide. He's sensible. We are not sensible because we're going up with the tide. We are very unsensible. <laughs> Got a big Canadian flag. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good, thanks. That was our friend, I think. Well, it turns out the guy who was coming towards us is actually Jeff, one of our subscribers, who were meeting up the river, so. <laughs> Surprising. He's in a, a rival as well. Looks like a rival 32, but don't quote me. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. Adam's still washing the decks. Got a bit of a race here with Jeff on his rival 32. <laughs> he is beating We're us, racing. but he's got a 39 horsepower engine. Yeah, so it and is. We got a 20, so it's not really fair. It's greatly unfair, so he should be penalized and fined 10,000 Canadian dollars. Yes. <laughs> We've got 1.7 miles to the yacht club, which is up there somewhere. I've no idea when I'm going, I'm just following Jeff. Just follow Jeff. I love his Canadian flag, very, very big. Compared to ours, it's not even black. <laughs> Here we are now, just arriving at Le Havre Yacht Club. Like, what's it called? La Havre. 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 This is Jeff's truck. Look how big it is. It's massive. <laughs> Look at the wheels. Axles. Double wheels. He built the frames, yeah. and I built it myself. I pulled all the frames up and <laughs> myself. Incredible. But that's Schooner Adair. Yeah. And, uh, that's heavy. Yeah, it's she heavy. was, well, you know, I think you put luck in there, realize I did a lot of Do you mind if I film you no, and the sure, boat? No, sure, yeah. Just, uh, you do whatever you want. I just want to get another ladder. Beautiful. Yeah. She's been rebuilt a couple times. This is Jeff's uh, schooner. Jeff Schooner, this is where it is at his house. And there, uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's a proper man's house with loads of stuff and tools. Yeah, and... <laughs> doing busy working. Yeah. She's been sitting in the shed now for uh, six years. Six years. Yeah. Now she has, as you can see, she has no bulwarks, so you don't really see her beauty. There's a rail that's on here. Like yeah. Six inches with a nice cap rail. But she's got all beautiful. I made all these. These are the mahogany combings for the cockpit and all that. There's all their booms and gaffs. Great big. That's her bowsprit. Sticks out the front. How old is this schooner? She's uh, 1905. Yeah. She's the second oldest schooner in Canada. And she's the oldest tan cook schooner in Nova Scotia. 
and it was owned by uh, the brewery family, the Olins family, in the 40s. And when they decided to advertise their schooner beer, uh, their Olins beer, or schooner, yeah, schooner beer, of course, they uh, decided to build the Blue Nose too. But this is the boat they owned when they did that. Yeah. So, uh, like a bit of history, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Have a little look in the yeah, cockpit sure. and downstairs, and maybe. Well, it's not much to see. You're going to need a light. Uh, come on back. Make sure we don't disturb any hornet's nests. Take a look around. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, obviously, she needs a total rebuild. Yeah. Uh, this was all starting to rot out. There's actually the motor in there. There's a camera motor. There's no interior. It's all been torn out to rebuild. But all this paint, it looks terrible because it's all peeled up in six years. But I, we could scrape that off four guys. Imagine sailing this. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. wouldn't it? There's the old tiller. Oh, my God. Oh, but, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, she's... She, and she uh she is fast this is a huge amount of sailor in this boat and she's really low profile when you see her so yeah uh but uh obviously she's looking pretty sad right now yeah but uh i need to put we are down in halifax waterfront and jeff is treating us to a british fish and chips First time we've had since leaving the UK. With a little place called Catch. We're gonna rate it. And we're gonna do a little rating rate on our fish and chips. See how nice it is. Fish and chips! Hello. What do you think? I gotta ask you some questions. It's massive! Call this fish. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Chips look amazing. I think that's engine temperature, not oil temperature. Delicious. Forget those ones, they're not important. Delicious. Yeah. Thank you, Jeff. I have a, yeah, there it is. Oh, you see that? Yes. That's cool, eh? It's amazing. That's new artwork. They're really working hard here to make the water flow better. Yeah. This is the Blue Nose 2 schooner. Look how beautiful that is. And we're going to go sailing on her. Uh, yes, we're going out, going out in one hour's time. Yeah. We're sailing. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Is our new vessel in our imaginary <laughs> world? <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Low tide. Low tide. Good, how are you? Yeah. How are you doing? Good, thanks. The blocks and stuff. Beautiful, isn't it? The deck. Maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance. I'd love to go for a sail on this thing. Yeah, I know. Mm. It's amazing to go for a sail on it. Wow. And in a wind, it's impressive. Yeah, 30 knots. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. Look, feel the uh, yeah. the tar in that they put on there so they'll slide on the mast easy. Yes. Look, it's all tarred. That's what that is. Uh, cool, huh? Yeah. It's a nice windlass. Yeah. Crank <laughs> <laughs> that. that was oh, don't let that go. You'll lay anchor. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have a flash up there anyway. Yeah. Crazy. No. So the next boat, is it? It's beyond what you think. It's just crazy. That's like just one giant trunk. Yeah, one giant tree. Isn't it?
and the colors in it. Yeah. The colors. I, I think that's from all the tiring they've been. It's bent as well, isn't it? It's like one tree, isn't it? You know what? I never realized they made them in one piece. But yeah, they did. Look at that. They got wired on that. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, 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 that was. Yeah, that was thick. <laughs> yeah, that was work thick. Working on that. I think they use multiple layers. Yeah. Oh, weather gear down there. Yeah. Back yeah. <laughs> it's amazing down there. Isn't it? Yeah. This is only a tiny bit of it. Imagine it goes all the way back. back. Yeah. Wow. Pat, right over, it? They even got an axe there as well. So we don't. You got one problem. You see your back. Amazing, isn't it? Beautiful. Just uh, here, not the maintenance. They do two months of maintenance. They put two coats of uh, oil or varnish on the wood every season. It's crazy. It's crazy. Amount of maintenance. Yeah. Adam said you'd love to do it all. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> all that amazing, delicious maintenance. Let's do it. You can imagine being on here and saving. Is it healing over? Yeah. No. Yeah. Imagine that. Yeah. Like Coming up next week, we continue our journey northeast and deal with some spicy weather. Thanks for watching this week's episode. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. And a huge million billion thanks to all our incredible patrons. Without you, this journey would not be possible.